President Biden's pick to head up the Justice Department's Civil Rights Division appears set to face a contentious nomination hearing. Kristen Clark, the nominee, lashed out at then-Attorney General Jeff Sessions when he, uh, when he uh, announced the Religious Liberty Task Force, claiming it would make it easier for people to use religion to discriminate. Penny Nance is the president for Concerned Women for America. I spoke with her yesterday about the choice and what she thinks it means for religious freedom in America under the Biden administration. Here's part of that conversation. President Biden's pick to head up the Justice Department Civil Rights Division is catching some heat for something she said in the past. That was when then Attorney General Jeff Sessions announced a new Religious Liberty Task Force back in 2018. She called it shameful and a way to mask uh, to mask it and make it easier to uh, to to execute religious discrimination. Penny, how concerned are you with this appointment? You know, I, it, this is one of many very leftist activists that uh, Joe Biden has appointed. This Biden administration is not in any way moderate, whether we're talking about the attorney general appointee, uh, you know, that's getting ready to go before Congress on Monday, Merrick Garland, whether uh, we're talking about Benita Gupta, whether we're talking about Javier Becerra for HHS, who is a, a, an abortion activist that has persecuted the pro-life community. Um, it is almost unending and shocking uh, the level of leftist activists that the Biden-Harris administration has appointed. Um, frankly, the pro-life community and people of faith should be very concerned about, uh, you know, perhaps, uh, you know, even persecution under the kind of people that uh, Joe Biden is appointing. What President Biden has advanced as part of his equality agenda, people like yourself see as an attack or an infringement on religious freedom protections. Can you explain? Well, they, they leave no room. Uh, the, the idea of uh, equality has been reframed and uh, redefined to mean that if you believe that God created men and women, and you believe in science and biology, and you believe as someone in faith that you cannot bow a knee to Baal and pretend to believe something you don't, that, that whether you're a teacher and you don't want to uh, define a student by him, her, if it's a woman or, uh, or she, if she, it's a, a young man, um, or whether it's a Christian adoption agency um, or a foster care community, all of that is out of bounds. All of that is uh, not protected under this administration. They really have gone to the far reaching left when it comes to the LBGT dogma. And it is really going to be a problem going forward for faith-based organizations, faith-based charities, people who are Christians that are business owners, people who are Christians who want to do business with a huge uh, amount of money that flows through the federal government. It, it is now ripened the field for discrimination um, and for persecution for Christians. Penny, finally, a noted columnist wrote this week in the Washington Post that by reopening the White House Office of Faith-Based and Neighborhood Partnerships, uh, President Biden aims to promote a more inclusive, less angry, uh, and less polarized conversation about faith. How is that something you think that the president might be able to accomplish? And is that something that you and, and, and Concerned Women for America might be able to work with him on? Well, we've seen this movie before, of course. Under the Obama administration, the people that he appointed, for the most part, there were certainly, a, a, you know, there's a, an exception to the rule. But overall, it was not uh, people who, it was more liberation theology. It wasn't people who were in line with mainstream Christianity um, in many cases. So, Look, I, I can't wait to see what happens, and we are always open. Believe me, Concerned Women for America will always share our views, advocate for our beliefs, advocate for our constituents to any president. Um, but we saw this before with the Obama administration in which people of faith that were uh, more traditional and our, our Christian views, or Christian views at all, actually, um, were shut out of the conversation. And so uh, I, I wait with with, you know, <laughs> bated breath to see how this comes down. But uh, I, I have 
you know, I, I, I'm not sure. <laughs> All right, we'll have to leave it there. Penny Nance with Concerned Women for America. Penny, thanks for your time.